Welcome to the channel. We are going to be showing you how to do the squad battle glitch on old gen. As you can see underneath, the timer's going up. The BR not being tackled. And to show you this video, we're going to do a full breakdown as of now. So we have four new opponents, and this works on every single one of these. But for today's argument, we're going to use this on the easier one, as it were. You want to select these and make sure it's on world class, no other. And the most important thing of this glitch is, as I'm trying to do icon swaps at the same time, or world cup swaps, sorry. You need to have at least a player has 75 plus strength. If you don't know where the strength stat is, it's going to be located on your screen right at the end under stamina, 84. Harry Kane has 83. Our wingers, unfortunately, don't have a lot. And our midfielders can't do it apart from Henderson. So you need 75 or higher in the strength for the glitch to work. So that being said, we're going to jump into the game now. As you can see, once we've selected our opponents and our kits, we're going to be wearing the red Arsenal kit. It still says World Class on the screen, so you can see that. Make sure it is on World Class. You can do this by scoring one goal or five goals. It doesn't really matter as long as you do not concede. If you concede, it will work, but the team will press in the last 15 minutes. So make sure you don't concede a goal. So what I'm going to do now is go get a goal. Hopefully, I can do it straight away. I normally play on new gen, so this might take me a couple seconds because old gen feels completely different to how new gen plays. We do pick the ball up here, look at the drive in. So I'm just going to skip to when I get the goal. Get the pass across, and we've now got the goal. So let's show you how the glitz works. We're going to do this with just one goal, but like I said, you can score five if you want to, or as many as you want, as long as you don't concede. So as we mentioned before, Trezeguet, Henderson, and Harry Kane, sorry, have the 75 plus strength. So you want to do this with a 75 plus strength player. So Harry Kane's got the perfect strength. You're going to sprint to this area here. Hold down left trigger or L2 in this area here. As soon as they touch backs, you let go. And as you can see here, he's just going to keep running into our back like this. You know you've done it right because he'll just keep running straight. If he moves to the side like that, they're most likely going to tackle you and you have to reset it. But hopefully for the video, we're lucky. And as you can see now, my hands are off the controller and they're set up. So it has to be somebody with 75 plus strength. They have to do it in this location. So in between the three pits, there's a cut, grass cut scene there. So in between the three lines, you can see I will mark it with an arrow. And that's how you do it. I will leave the camera on running now with me in the background, as you can see. We're going to show you the first half because I've done it on the second half in another game just to show you it works. But you'll know it works because basically what happened is your players won't move. Harry's Kane's stamina will keep going up and down, as you can see, and nothing will change. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knife, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So as you can see, we are coming up to half time now. And this is what's so good about this glitch is you can literally just leave it there. It's really easy to set up. You don't have to do any difficult sort of dribbling or set up certain players in positions. You just need somebody with 75 plus strength or 75 strength or higher. And you can see there, the stamina doesn't move. That's how you know you got it right. He will sit in a position where his arms are up like this. And that's how you know it's correctly done. And we've been here the whole time since showing you the start of it. And we are going to go move into the second half in a second. Another thing with the glitch is if you don't get tackled, it will stay on the 45th minute the whole time. So once you've done it, just kick the ball out and then that's half time. So as you can see there, just to show you possession stats and much more to show you that it prove you that it does actually work and nothing is a bit of a dodgy edit. And we've had 92% possession. That's just because of the start trying to get the goal. If we have kickoff, which we do, we are going to try and set it up again. So again, we know that Trezeguet and Harry Kane have the uh, 75 plus strength. If you've got wingers that have 75 plus strength, it's going to make it much quicker to do because you can run into that position every time. But it has to be in the area that I've selected. If it's not in that area, it won't work. So we've got Trezeguet here now. We're going to turn around, sprint, hold down left trigger or L2. Wait for the connection just like that. Let go. And as you can see, instantly into the setup. No hands on the controller again. He'll run back and forth. Trezeguet is in that position where his arms are up and we are on our way to doing it. So what we're going to do now, instead of showing you a whole of this, we're going to skip to a second game that I did with the same score, different teams, etc. And we're going to end the video there.
So as you can see, we are coming to the end of the game of the second game we have done. And just to show you that it works in the second half as well, here's the example. We are still 1-0 up, as of like we did in the other gameplay in the first half. And these just go all the way through. The fantastic thing about this glitch is if you can't be bothered to do this and you need to do something else, this only works on old gen, but you can get it done, no problem. You just put the controller down like I have. My controller is here, just sitting on now, doing absolutely nothing. I can now move on and do something else. Go get a drink, go have some food quickly or whatever. Read a book, whatever you want to do. Look at something on Twitter. And that's how it's done. Really, really good on old gen. Way more consistent on old gen than it is on new gen. If you haven't seen my new gen squad battles glitch, definitely check it out. I'll be linked at the end of this video and in the comment section down below. But again, if you have any questions or any comments, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.